Hello everyone. The goal of this webcast is to show you how you can quickly move data between one pod to another pod, in this case between two PBCS pods. I've got two pods on my screen, as you can see. Uh, this one, where I've got some data for operating expenses already, already available for uh, the plan scenario in 2017. This data, would like to move them to my pod number two. You can see which is this one where I've got the same kind of web form available, but at this stage totally blank, okay? So the goal is to move data from pod one to pod two. In this case, I just, just need to go back to pod one, move into data management, and create a target application, a cloud target application. In order to do that, I need to provide the URL. Including also uh, credentials I plan to use to connect to my target application. And the name of the application, which is a Vision 2. I just need to save. Then I need to create an import format. I will call it pod to pod import format. And I will import data from my pod one vision application and push information to my pod two vision two application. I need to manage the colon mapping. So from the source to the target account will be mapped with account, same story for other dimension. Then I need to create a location that will leverage this import format. And I will say, I will tell the system I would like to use this uh, import format and this location. For that, in my user settings, I will select which location I would like to use. And now I can prepare my data load rule. So in order to prepare my data load rule, I need to uh, give it a name. pod to pod data load rule, and I will map data coming from plan type 1 from the source and move this data to plan 1 to the target. I can also include some uh, filters at the source level. In this case, uh, let's say I would like to be focused only on the children of operating expenses. So in this case, I will select which part of my income statement I would like to use. So I will select total operating expenses and all granular data. I can add more filters if I want. Let's say uh, for the entity, I would like to be focused on only one entity, which is called sales list. Also, I would like to add a filter for the product and I will be filter I will filter on no product and I can continue uh, if I want uh, let's say for the scenario it will be planned and for the version it will be the working version filters are done I just need to explain how the mapping will occur between the source and the target between filters I've created and the destination. So in this case, it will be a like for like for all dimensions from the source to the target. So in this case, I just need to use this information, as you saw information here, saying that any account will be mapped to, to the same, exactly the same account at the destination level.
okay and last one for the version so it's done back to the data load rule what I would like to do is now to execute the integration and explain to the system that I will upload data from the source to the destination uh, not only between not only for uh, January, but I would like to do this uh, kind of integration uh, for from January until uh, December 2017. So the uh, integration is going on, leveraging the mapping I've defined, and data now are moved between pod one to pod two depending how many data you would like to uh, to move, how many mappings rules you would like to use also, uh, the integration can take uh, from seconds to uh, minutes. In my case, it took, it took only a few seconds, so you can see mapping is done. If I close this window and move to my pod number two and open my Entry form, you can see now that data are co correctly populated on my pod number two in the cloud. Thank you.